everyone, today's video is the fourth and final part of my drugstore week series and I think this is my favourite video of the bunch. This video is going to include my top drugstore dupes and also some alternatives as well, products that I think are really really similar but they're not necessarily dupes. So in case you're after any of these products I hope you find some less expensive alternatives in here and in case you haven't seen part one, two and three of drugstore week, we had part one which was my evening makeup up tutorial. Part two which was what's new at the drugstore and part three up here which was my drugstore makeup starter kit. So make sure you guys catch up on those. All the links will be in the information box below but I'm going to start everything off with what I think by the way is the best beauty alternative that I've seen. I'm sure you guys have seen this Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit. It is impossible to get hold of. Let me just put that out there. Apparently it's like always always sold out at Sephora. I know it's pretty hard to get hold of in the UK only cult beauty stock it but it's a great one if you're after like a lot of definition if you like contouring a lot if you want some extra cheekbones in your life but Barry M have recently brought out this flawless chiseled cheeks contour kit what do you look at that it looks Hold on, let me just open this. It looks really, really similar to the Anastasia one, but they've kind of narrowed it down and they've got like the three good shades from the Anastasia kit. They've got the kind of like yellow highlighting setting powder. They've got a warm color to contour and a cool tone as well. So you want the kind of warm tone to bronze up your face and then the cool tone to add a bit more definition and a bit more of a kind of like shadow-like look. The formulation of these are really good. They are quite buttery, really, really easy to blend, but I would say the Anastasia formulation just lasts a little bit longer on my skin. I really fell in love with this by Terry product and then I saw the price and then I was like no. I was like okay we cannot be friends because you are ridiculously expensive. I just oh my gosh like I have my by Terry foundation in my life and that is the most expensive product that I have and that is about it. That is as far as I go and that's foundation. I feel like for, this is a primer and I feel like for a primer it's not really worth spending like 70 or 80 pounds on a primer. But Topshop have something super, super similar. I practically, if I put half and half on my face, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. This is their all over glow. What I really liked about these is that it's a really bronzy primer. So it adds like a really golden and luminescent look to the skin. If you have an olive undertone like me, these look really good because it just like brings out that oliveness and makes you look a bit less gray. They're both in liquid form and I like to apply them before my foundation. I'm making these products like do a weird little dance together as I'm talking to you. If you're into matte lips, the NARS matte lip pencils are your guy. They are so, so good. I love the pencil form, first of all, first of all, first of all, because they're really easy to apply. I love the longevity of them. I love the shade range. Maybelline also have something super similar. They're practically the same in formulation and texture. These are the Color Drama Velvet Lip Crayons. But the only problem is there are about two shades in, I think it's a range of four we've got in the UK. There's two shades. There's this red one and another one as well that I like. It's such a shame that the shade range so small but the product is actually really good and they're a really great dupe of the NARS matte lip pencils. If you're into highlighting and contouring like me you probably would have seen that picture of Kim Kardashian with a yellow liquid all over her face and apparently according to you know I don't know no one <laughs> I think I actually might have read it on a website somewhere and that's why I bought this but this is the MAC prep and prime pen in light boost and it's just kind of like a yellow liquid pen it really brightens up your face but if you're after something from the drugstore that's basically exactly the same, same highlighting ability, same blendability, same longevity. This L'Oreal Touche Magique Perfect Match pen is a really good one and the applicators are both really similar as well because you can just swipe them on like a pen. There are two shades from MAC that if I'm doing a brown smoky eye like I will reach for them because they're such good staple smoky eye shades. It's the shade Brun and also the shade Cork. You can see my shade Cork here is so so well loved. It's like a really good crease colour and it just blends out any eyeshadow basically. But Natural Collection have one called Milk Chocolate. It's a bit more cool toned in colour but it just does the same job really blends out the edges of eyeshadow really nicely. It's just like a great staple if you're into a smoky eye and I think these eyeshadows are around a couple of pounds and the same with the shade Mulch from MAC. It's like a really nice shimmery brown colour. It has a hint of like golden shimmer in it and the shade Asteroid by Natural Collection is so so similar to that and the Natural Collection eyeshadows for eyeshadows that are two pounds you literally cannot go wrong. Before I discovered my love for this 
I loved this. This is by Chanel. It's their Le Beige powder. You can see I'm almost on pan on mine it's like a really really well loved powder okay so this one was really good it was kind of when i was like getting out of my super matte skin phase and i was like i want something to mattify and make sure i don't get shiny but i don't want to look flat and like i have a lot of makeup on but the bourgeois healthy balance powder as soon as i discovered this one i like totally neglected my chanel le beige because this one is so good it's practically the same it's much more portable you can see it's just like much thinner and it just has a slightly lighter texture to it. Apparently Bourjois are owned by Chanel, so I wouldn't be surprised if these were made in the same factory because they do smell really similar as well. If you ever fancy like a liquid lipstick, something like the Hourglass Opaque Rouge, I would not recommend them because I think they're quite expensive and they're really small. You can see it's like the size of my little pinky finger and they're quite drying on the lips as well, even though the shade range is really lovely. These matte lipsticks, blow every other matte lipstick out of the water. I hope that is the right saying that I just said. These ones are from Sephora, they're their cream lip stains. Guys, if you are ever near a Sephora, just swatch these, okay? They are so pigmented, so creamy, really long lasting, like don't dry out the lips. I wanna say that in like big bold capitals. These do not dry out your lips. Like if you're after a matte lip that's still comfortable, which is like so, so rare, these are your guy and also if you also like eating burgers like I do and you also like red lipstick burgers and red lipstick this weirdly works it works and it still lets you have red lipstick and eat a burger I don't know how I was really happy when I discovered this dupe because I go through this lip gloss like it's no one's business you know like I just go through this lip gloss too quickly and it's around 25 pounds I think I think it's actually 23 pounds. This is the Shantikai Brilliant Gloss in Lucky. It's one of my all time favorites. It's like a peachy pink, golden shimmer. You know the drill, it goes with like any, any, any makeup look at all. It makes your lips look really appealing, I wanna say, like just filler and it catches the light beautifully. This Barry M lip gloss in the shade 443 is practically, it's just exactly the same color, but maybe slightly lighter. I'm just gonna apply this over my lipstick now let me get this mirror here and you can see how gorgeous it looks i love it it's so so comfortable on the lips as well and it just feels really balmy and it smells kind of like peaches i love a good highlighter as you can probably tell on my cheeks right now i've piled on all the highlighter but in summer i always like reaching for a cream product especially if i'm going out in the sunlight and it's like the sun hits your cheeks and powder never really looks good in sunlight so this nars stick in the shade copa cabana i honestly have tried to say that name like four times copa cabana you need to say it really slowly it's a really good one it's nice and shimmery you just kind of like swipe it on it looks really natural but for the price, I would say that it's not really worth it because you get so much product in there and you end up using like the tiniest, tiniest amount unless you're really into cream products. But this Topshop Glow Pot, I actually prefer. Because I like looking much more bronzed, this Copacabana stick is quite white and pearlescent, but this Topshop Glow Pot has more of a golden undertone. I've used this in my drugstore evening makeup tutorial, so if you wanna see it in action, I'll leave a link to that below. But it just like blends really beautifully. It just makes you look like you're lit from within and you've just had all the sleep. Like you've been sleeping decades and you just look fresh and radiant and you drink five liters of water a day. I've had a love affair with MAC pigments for a really, really long time, but I feel like, again, like the NARS thing, like you end up buying the product and like hardly ever going through with it going through it because you use so little of it that you're just never going to finish it basically which in a way is a good thing but if there's a less expensive alternative i go for that one and these are the nyx loose eyeshadow pigments i have the shade nude pearl there are so many shades of these they're much smaller as well and they're much less expensive but they basically have the same color payoff the same pigmentation i would definitely say use a primer when you're going for pigments because they can be really messy though so that's everything for my top dupes and drugstore alternatives definitely check out the other three videos which I will again link right here. I know so many of you guys have requested my makeup collection and storage video. It's coming your way I promise but if there are any other videos you'd like to see let me know. I always really appreciate it when you guys thumbs up my videos so if you could give this video a thumbs up 
I will give you an internet hug, a virtual internet awkward hug in return. That was a really weird in, I was like in, it was like mid cough slash in, oh god. <laughs> Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and everything, I'll leave all my social media links in the information box below as well as the product names as always. I will see you guys on Wednesday, I have another vlog coming your way, so I will see you then, bye! Good mood, ready to seize the day. I'm at Cycle. Can you see these? These are happening at 9.20 in the morning. It's a super grey day and why not pretend like it's sunny and wear sunglasses when it's a super grey That line makes my face look much more warm. Bringing my bronzer along my hairline as well for some reason just to add a little bit of warmth but it's just whatever's left over on the brush which isn't really that much.